G'day guys, welcome back to Tassie Coin Hunter. Well, this is a bit of a follow up one after I cracked this earlier in the day. This is night time now, and I got the coloured coin. And this was my first roll, so I went down to the post office, straight down, bought another two rolls, thought, can lightning strike again? And the answer is, I can't even do that. No good on that one. So that was my first roll. I went and bought another one. No good. So. I'll put that back on later. So I bought the second one. No good. So my first roll scored me colour coins. So anyway. There's actually two coloured coins in here. Now I didn't actually realise that. Um, Rez actually pointed that out to me. Thank you, Rez. So I'm upside down, Miss Jane. So I've got two more folders, obviously. I thought I'll get them out. Now, I use, I'm going to put these in quadrum cases just because it works with the system I've got and I do like the cases. This is just my personal thing. If you're going to use them, just make sure you get the sizing right. These are for dollar coins, or uh, they are 25 mil. So they come in all different sizes. You get a 50 cent pieces and on. You can also use these ones, or you can buy some cheaper Chinese ones. And um, yeah, look, these are 25 mil as well. I like these, not bad. But I wanted to put these in quadrant cases so and this is just more for for people that are just you know new to the hobby and that but because these coins are uncirculated I am going to glove up do you have to it's up to you your coins but I'm not going to handle these coins with my bare hands now these are just gloves I got from office works I believe now it makes it very hard to do anything but there we go and I will change cameras and I will do close-ups beautiful so what we'll do now I should have opened these before but actually there's a little groove in the side put your nail in that little groove in there open him up see now line him up he goes put the quadrum case back on clicks the back in I just think these look good and they work in my holders very well so I'll take that one out and we'll just throw it on the bench why not lucky there's a mat here protecting it that is very cool so you get two colored coins in the one roll and so we'll take that out. So you sort of got to line it up straight. It is pretty tight. It's a nice tight fit, but not over tight. That click in. Now we can take the gloves off. Now the other thing is. I don't tend to use, I won't leave these in these tubes. I These are my Great Australian Coin Hunt Series 2 coins. I tend to take them out of these paper holders and put them in coin tubes. I just need to buy a couple more coin tubes, but that's where I usually store them long term, in there. Good quality ones. These are only eBay ones, but they're not too bad. I'll probably try to buy some really good quality ones, but I'm not sure long term how these will store. So I will take them out and put them in in um, coin tubes. But they'll be right in there for a little while. So did that seal properly, or did I get that around the wrong way? Let's have a look. Oh no, maybe it did. No, oh, it's sealed. It's it's in there. 
All right. So they're in the quadrum cases. And uh, we'll change cameras and have a look at the rest of the coins. Okay. So now we've changed cameras. I'll turn the other light on. And we can have a really look, good look at this AFL coin. 2023 AFL Premiership season. That's uh, the Jody Clark effigy with the tribute. 1952 to 2022. I do like that effigy. And this one was the women's one, I think. Premiership team. That is cool. And we'll get out the coins now. I'm not going to touch them. So I'll zoom out. And glove up. Again. This is completely up to you, obviously. Um, I just don't like touching fresh coins. So if you new people that have started your coin collecting journey, go to Officeworks, get yourself a pair of cotton gloves. And um, yeah, they make zooming and doing stuff very difficult. Don't think I can see on the camera. I have to take the glove off to zoom my camera. All right, now we want better zoom. I still can't do it. So, I haven't looked at these coins close up. This will be my first look. I'm going to get my glove back on. Wow. Help if I held it up the right way. Bulldogs. Yeah. I'll just sit them on there. Oh, West Coast. I, I do like them. Just try to be gentle. Sydney. Very nice. They will scratch up, I reckon, very easily in circulation, though. I'll just sit them down gently on the table. St Kilda. Beautiful. I reckon I reckon they'll get knocked around. I reckon pick them up early on because I reckon they will get knocked very quickly. Look at that. Nice Adelaide. Just picking them up gently. Lions. Wow. That yeah, quite nice. Yeah. What do people think about Tasmania probably getting a team? Ah, one of my mates is a die hard Collingwood supporter. Doesn't live in Australia at the moment, so I might have to send him one over. He is a big Collingwood supporter. And they are very loyal supporters, Collingwood supporters. Every Collingwood supporter I've met, especially in Carlton supporters. Essendon. Ossetan Coin. Ah, oh, nice. I do like them. Three man or dockers. Cats, got a big, got a few cat supporters as friends as well. Geelong, yeah, I do like it. As I said, I'm not an AFL football -y sort of person myself, but I'm a coin collector and I can really do enjoy some of the coins and the designs. But I think these will. As I said, in circulation, I can see they won't last too long. Hawks. I know a few Hawthorne supporters as well. Melbourne. Demons. A few of those. A few of them as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. Port Adelaide. Nice. You can see all these fields getting scratched up very quickly. Ah, Tigers. Go Richmond. So I was going to support anyway. It's the Tigers. Alright. Well, I hope you've enjoyed a closer look um, at these coins. Really happy to get the coloured set. I have seen them going on eBay for 200 250 So it's definitely going to... It'll be interesting to see where the market goes on the, the coloured coins. So I didn't really mind that I... I spent once I got the coloured first. I didn't really mind that I spent an extra ninety dollars on them because that's forty dollars face value anyway, and these will go up heaps anyway. So didn't mind too much. But where these go, it'll be interesting to see how high they go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, like remember, this is all just my idea, but you know, a lot of people do it, but. I definitely will take them out of there, put them in nice tube holders like this, seal them up. And um, yeah, these quadrant cases look beautiful. If you need to know even more, look back at some of my videos. There's a bit of stuff on them. Alright guys, take it easy. Tazzy Coin Hunter is out.